is Squiggly Baby here, and also known on other social medias as Tear and Hail. And today I have a very exciting video for you. It's going to be a, another improvement comparison. I have done one of these in the past, and that was with uh, more of my alien drawing, whereas this one is more of a direct comparison because not only am I drawing the same subject, but this is a subject that I have been drawing for uh, ever since I started drawing. And the artwork that I showed you just at the beginning of this video was done about five years ago now, give or take, about five, maybe six years. <laughs> it was done when I was 12 years old and I remember I remember doing it and I remember um, <laughs> spending a long time on it and I, I love it, I still love it to this day, uh, you know it's very vintage to me, it's something that reminds me uh, how I started, where I started and honestly how I got to where I am today. And so the topic for this video is going to be more, more or less my thoughts on improvement and kind of, uh, at least for me in my personal opinion and experience. Uh, how I got to where I am today in the amount of, uh, I guess, time that I did, what affects it, uh, and where I'm going to go from here. So yeah, <laughs> I hope that the audio is okay because I <laughs> boosted my microphone, my microphone volume up all the way because earlier. And so I just want to put a huge disclaimer out there right before I get into this topic uh, and further into this video that. Uh, this may or may not be uh, com comparable to you and everyone has a different art journey and everyone takes um, you know, a different amount of time to get where they want to be and everyone has different goals so uh, please in no way compare yourself and your art journey to mine because uh, both of our experiences are different and are unique and um, the <laughs> really <laughs> the main incorrigible thing that I can say before getting into this uh, topic is that just keep on drawing because uh, at right now I'm not at where I want to be uh, personally and I do uh, I do appreciate all the comments and all the compliments that I get on my art and even people critiquing it even negative ones I do full heartedly take that on and I thank you guys so much but uh, I just want you to keep in mind that even with my art at this uh, skill level at this stage at this um, at its current state I guess <laughs> even now I'm not happy with uh, with how it is and I want to improve more and I believe that I will get there and I believe that you will get there too so just keep on drawing because um, you gotta have goals in art you know if you, if you want to uh, be the best you can you've got to set those goals and dream big so <laughs> I'll now get into talking about a little bit about this painting and then more about the topic so first off, about the painting, uh, a quick brief rundown, this is my character, I've had him for, I don't know, I guess five or six years now, <laughs> a long time, ever since I started art, I have had this character, his name is Cavery, and he doesn't really have a specific set background or, I guess, details about him, he's just my character, and I just like to draw him, and um, I think he looks cool, he wears a tutu, and I, I have a bit of an obsession of trading, buying, or just anything about my character for people to do art of him. It's a bit of an obsession and I admit I have about two thick folders full of other people's artwork sitting in my house which I have yet to share because it's more of a showcase thing that I want to dedicate to you guys. And yeah, this painting took me about four hours I'm pretty sure this was done about two months ago as you can see the date in the bottom left hand corner so it was done a while ago but I still think this is a pretty good accurate representation of where my skill level is at now and how long um, you know I would spend on a painting if I really tried and you know this is me trying I guess at my greatest ability to <laughs> to paint this was again two months ago so I have changed slightly but I mean just about everything I would probably do the same I would change the nose with the facial structure but honestly in all my opinion of this artwork is that I like it still and it's aesthetically artistically pleasing that's right I have <laughs> waited so long to actually say that in that sentence in that direct uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> in that direct format. It is very aesthetically, artistically pleasing, and it still entertains me uh, when I look at it. So, um, I will be doing more of these, by the way, in the future of more comparable, uh, comparable artworks. <laughs> where I compare something that I've done now to something I've done previously just to kind of, uh, you know, both in a way to let me know that I've improved, you know, because sometimes, um, I'm sure, you know, every artist gets it, but sometimes I just feel like, oh, I'm not improving or I'm stuck in a rut. And not just that, but to also get you guys motivated, you know, to to draw more. You just got to draw a lot more and draw smart too. Don't just work hard and draw a lot, but draw smart know what you have to improve on and you'll get there faster okay i'll end that bit now <laughs> so improving and how to improve and my uh, personal opinion and experience on it here we go um i think the time that has taken me to get here which is about five or six years to where i'm at my skill level etc is not quite where i want to be now i know that sounds a little bit um you know, a little bit harsh i guess and I don't, I'm not directing this at anyone, this is just, you know, myself and my own artisticness. I think that uh, I could be at a higher level, honestly, uh, if I worked harder, if I tried harder. But in a way, um, you know, I know that uh, <laughs> other artists relate to that, but that's just kind of how I feel with it. Um, I started drawing, I, yeah, again, uh, since I was 11 or 12, just about, you know, I got my first drawing tablet. Um... I would say 13 or 14, I'm pretty sure, or maybe a little bit earlier than that. And I've, you know, I do traditional art as well, but I do strongly feel that if I studied hard, if I worked hard, etc., I would be at this level that I'm now in roughly about two years. But now that I am actually learning art, now I don't mean this in a way that. Um, you know when you're drawing you're not learning of course you are when you're drawing you're always learning you're always learning everything but i mean it in a way that every time i draw now i do critically think about what i want to improve on where i need to go and that's what i mean by uh you know cracking down on learning um into art you know the techniques the different mediums and the different ways and setting a very strict goal on how many times I draw a day, how long I draw, what I draw, and where I want to be. And now that I have set that goal for myself for about the past year or so, not even a year, probably six months, I've realised that art is definitely what I want to do, it's where I want to go. And I think it's very important for people to know that everyone has different goals in art, you know. Um, we'll all get there, I do very strongly believe we will all get there, we'll all achieve what we want to because this is this is art this is a creative medium we got this guys <laughs> come on and if you're working freelance then you can kind of be almost any way you want to be you don't have to be hard on yourself you know you don't have to uh i guess study really really hard but you do that that amount of studying really really hard is what i said that you you know, don't necessarily have to do if you're working for a company that goes into self-promoting and being your own business so that's a completely different um completely different <laughs> pond uh of, of fish <laughs> but if you if you want to work for a game company which is what i'm going into at the moment with this topic is that i do want to work for a game company i do want to work for stuff like bethesda cg project red or gearbox software because i absolutely love the idea of creating just different things and doing it creatively and if I don't get there which I really hope I do <laughs> I know it will suck the life out of me because I always hear people say that oh artists don't get paid enough makes me real scared but if I don't get there or at least in the meantime I know that horror art and this kind of freelance lifestyle it'll, it'll do okay it'll benefit me <laughs> and there are pros and cons to both of them and I won't you know get too deep into that but that's just something to keep in mind, you know, if you want to work for a company, you do kind of have to uh, stretch out of uh, one style or one form of drawing. And if you do want to work for yourself, then push that, you know, push that creativity and push that sense of style and put everything you have into it, you know, a whole heart. But if you're working for a company or something, it's a little bit different because, you know, you're working, you're working for someone 
rather than for yourself if that makes sense so yeah <laughs> and uh with improving quickly uh i don't think i've improved quickly i think i've improved very slowly i think in the last six months i've realized that um the kind of person you are and you know your lifestyle and your habits and uh you know your emotions and things that go on in your own personal life aside from art does affect your art and i think i've realized that in the past year or less as i said before ever since i've started really hard practicing and um, learning my fundamentals and all this kind of stuff and knowing more about art itself as its own uh, subject rather than just a career goal or a hobby I've learned that uh, other things do affect your art and it's very important to realize that and if you have bad habits like I do honestly I have my laptop on my bed right now in my room and th this is where I work like almost all day and uh, you know it's it's up to me to get I guess a desk or, or something like that or even to go out in the kitchen would be a lot better because it's more productive you can't have your workspace in the same as your sleeping space it just kind of it clashes and um, and yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry I just kind of had a brain fart hang on to that your goals will change no uh, no matter what through time your goals will advance or maybe you'll go into something else Art is a very open-ended thing, you know, you don't have to be the same thing. In the beginning of art, when I, uh, when I did the uh, painting that I first showed at the beginning of this video, I wanted to make a manga and that was all. For the first probably three years of my art, that's exactly and the only thing that I wanted to do. Now, I want to be, you know, like a star artist. I mean, <laughs> what an upgrade! <laughs> But that, that's what I'm saying, you know, your goals will change and you don't have to set something in concrete. But as long as you have something that you have that's within your field of vision and you're willing to work towards that, it's, it's, it's going to be easy for you, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to flow and it's going to all fall into place. It will be hard to kind of sit down and put in the mind and the physical, you know, aspect of it, but... Um, I do think art is it's something that's a part of you and you can't ever let it go no matter what you know if you even left art for 10 years or something it will always be there I think it's something that's unique to everyone and it's a spark that can be reignited or lit even lighter so keep on drawing guys uh, I can't actually revise what I'm saying because my computer's that slow but I hope I did cover everything and I love you guys I'll see you in my next video as always the blue is at the end and bye bye will be up the 5th of May, probably my time or American time, I'm not sure, but that's the Art Alex Alliance video, which is really exciting because I think I'm trying out oil plates for the first time. I'm not sure, but I think I am, so bye-bye. Make sure you subscribe to Squidly Diddly. Or whatever that name is.